So this question is a diagram question. I know that just really based upon the diagram that's provided. So anytime I see a diagram, I like to take a moment to, you know, see what I understand about that diagram. So I see all of the variable degree measurements here. Um, I also notice that a lot of these degree angles or degree measurements have uh, relationships with each other, meaning that, like, for instance, angle U is equal to Y because of vertical angles, angle X is equal to T, uh, angle W is equal to Z. Um, also, things like X plus Y plus Z equals 180 degrees. Um, and there's more than that, right? I can say Y plus Z plus T equals 180, Z plus T plus U equals 180. So instead of writing all that down, I'm just going to keep note that there's a lot, there's a few other things here that are supplementary that I could write down. So now going on to the question, it says in the figure above, lines K, L, and M intersect at a point, which we see in the, in the diagram. If X plus Y equals U plus W, okay, so that we didn't know before, so I'm going to write that down. X plus Y equals U plus W. Which of the following must be true? Well, so I've already taken the time to deal with what's true here. None of those are on this list, however. So now what does this mean? X plus Y equals U plus W. So X plus Y is this angle here. U plus W is this angle here. If they're equal to each other, then that would mean, okay, that would mean that angle Z, which is just the supplement of X plus Y, must be equal to angle T, which is a supplement of U plus W. So that's a new thing that I can add in. So Z is equal to T. And that I do notice is here. So I'm gonna just circle my three here. And because of circling three, I'm gonna get rid of choice A because it doesn't have three as an option. All right, so what else can I do here? Well, um, I also really like, because I think it saves a lot of time, whenever I see variables in the question and, right, so variables here, and in the answer choices, I'd like to use another strategy called plug in your own number. So I'm going to just erase this here, and I'm going to make up some numbers here and see, see how it works out. So I'm going to say that this is 30, uh, let's say, that looks more like a, let's call it 55. In fact, let's, let's make it easy. Let's call it 60. And then let's call angle Y 50. So that's 110, so it makes angle Z 70. And then based upon what I understand that I wrote down here, then that means that this must be 50 because it's vertical. This must be 60 because it's vertical. This must be 70 because it's a vertical angle. And I think we still match up with this, X plus Y plus Z equals 180. Yes, it does. Um, X, well, how about here? X plus Y in this case is 110. U plus W is 120, so that's... That's not true, so we need to fix that. And then also, how about Z equals T? Z, in this case, is not equal T. So I'm going to make Z and T equal to each other. So I'm going to make this T equal to 70 and then see what that does. So by making that 70, then that means my X has to change to 70. And how about now, right? So now X plus Y plus Z, that's not 180. So I need to get rid of this 50 and make that 50 a 40. So 70, 70, and 40. And then that means that this 50 down here must become 40. Okay, so now I think we're good. I think we, you know, everything lines up. All the vertical angles are equal to each other. The Z equals T now. The X plus Y, which is now 110, is equal to U plus W, which is also 110. And this is just a good example of using plugging your own number. Yes, I started off with my own numbers, right, based upon whatever I decided to put in there. But then I used the information that I know to be true to help um, determine whether the numbers I used were any good or not. And since they weren't, I had to change them in order to fit what I knew to be true. So now let's finish answering the question. So Y equals W is option, or let's go X equals Z is option one. Is it true that X equals Z? Well, yeah, it is, right? X is 70, Z is 70, so that is true. Is it true that Y equals W? Um, no, it's not, right? Because Y is 40, W is 70, so that's not true. So my answer must be choice B, which states options one and three are the correct answers.